fix that. Everything right there is flowing. If you just join, I'm just finishing up this beat I had did the other night. Just adding different elements to it. And um, I'm going to go back and put it into a song mode. So right now I'm just putting together sequences that I feel. Different instruments. So I'm going to play them. I'll play where I started at. This is where I started. I started here. Let me make sure I got everything right first. Hold up. Let's show you where I started at. I started. All right, I started, I started the beat. I started the beat with just this. Let me, let me turn this, this MIDI off. I started the beat with just this drum loop. I played the drum, right? I was like. Give me a second. I changed the tempo, so I'm just changing my tempo up. I went up a notch, so the temple's at 80, 85. That's the BPM. Beats per minute. All right, so I started here. Where I started, right? Started with this, right? I'll break it down for you. It's like I started with the, you know, with the kick, right? I mean, with the snare, right? We do it this way. This way is better. So I started with that, right? I had to mute the track, so it's better to do it that way. So then I came in with this. I was like. I came in with this. I put like a little ghost hard hit in there. I put my hi hat in there, my bad. Then I came in with this. I put that little ghost kick in there. Like a boof. Like a bubble, like a bubble. And I came in with. So I doubled up that ghost kick. Boom, boom. triangles in there just to kind of give it a different these gonna be changed up they ain't gonna be the whole scene gonna change them up right then I came in with this I put another triangle in there I kind of gave like a little 16 trick loot on it right was going to use this sample. It all came from this sample right here. So I used this. When I put the claps in there, my bad. I don't, I don't have them. Um, I ain't named my track, so bear with me. I put the little snap in there, right? All right, that's the first sequence. Then I came with another. Then I added up. I copied this sequence to make this sequence. So that sample right there, I was going to use that, which is right here. See, 
I start. I really started with this, this sample, right? I did the drum loop, and then I had this sample in there. So that's that sample came from an album. It came from this album right here. I was messing around with some chops late last night. And I just chopped up some I just chopped up some different drums, but I actually found out that I don't want I don't like that sample. That's gonna be for something else. So I, I took that out. I took that out and I just started building. So I went I went from I'm gonna take the sample out. Right? I don't like the sample. When I took the sample out, that's what made me play. So I'm gonna play my shit and then I'm gonna come back and add another sample. So that's what I've been doing. So that's where you're catching me at now. But then I came in with this third sequence. It's two sequences with the third one. So I'm gonna kill that sound again. I don't want that sound, right? So basically, the next sequence from here is just changing up the drums. So as I switch from different sequences, I'm gonna change the drums up. They're gonna have different feelings. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go to the next one. They're only two bars. I think the last couple of them are four. So that's here's one. Here's another one. I gotta take that out again. Here's that. Here's another uh, sequence. So you hear that? You hear how I doubled up on that kick, right? So I just basically just doubled up, and here's my last sequence for the main groove. Alright, so after I did that, right, then I went over here and then I started fucking around with some different melodies. So I came up with these melodies right here. It was this one first. I just did that, right? I did that. And then I did this right here. Then I came in. Bass, I was like, wait, I went, so I went, so I went, did that, and then I came with this sequence here. Playing this and piecing it together, right? So I went. Remember that? And then I came with this sequence right here. I was like, okay. Then I 
click that, right? I put that in there. Then it came to the next sequence, right? And it brought it up to here. So all I did was that. So I just did that. So I that's just the basis. I flipped that, right? And then I was like, then I came up, changed my sequences up. So here comes the next change up. So I put the bass in there, right? Use the same notes, but played a little bit different. So then I broke it down. the bass line by itself the bass line gonna come by itself so I did the bass line by itself and then from there I came up and put my chords in there together i'm gonna take a break and i'm gonna come back because i get my ears a break but that's that's basically it i'm gonna throw some strings in there i'm gonna probably come back and do the strings and then i'm done and then i'm, I'm gonna put it together like a puzzle put it all together so this is what you get with the drums so you got Thank you. 
want to thank you for watching. My name is Granddaddy Frost. Welcome to my world. Peace. If you didn't catch the uh, beginning of it, go back on in and check it out. I wish everybody well. Peace.